Yeah, thanks. So uh, some of you know me, some of you don't. I'm, I'm uh, <coughs> excuse me, Jason Hand at VictorOps. VictorOps is uh, on-call management, incident management. A lot of you are customers. Most of you are probably using us or PagerDuty. That one's for Eric. Um, and um, anyway, it's great to be here. So yeah, I wanted to talk about using uh, systems thinking um, to approach feedback. So the you know the benefits that you get from taking the systems thinking model and actually uh, applying that to just the, the sort of human interaction feedback. So I thought we'd sort of unpack. Uh, some definitions here, some terms. When I say system, I'm just talking about really system in a very basic sense, right? So just the interacting of uh, or in interdependent components forming this quote-unquote whole. So that's the system that I'm talking about. And then when we talk about feedback, I'm actually referring to, um, we talk a lot about feedback loops within DevOps. Obviously, it's a big part of the monitoring and alerting and that kind of thing. But, but today, in this talk, I'm just talking about the feedback we have with each other. Because so, the human part is just as important as the technology part. And then, of course, systems thinking. We've actually heard a little bit of about it today already. Systems thinking is something that comes up a lot in DevOps because, again, through the feedback loops, we want to start to see all kinds of different angles, all kinds of different perspectives, so that we don't get this really skewed outlook on any particular one thing. Um, and the thing is that without systems thinking, without sort of taking this approach, we actually start to uh, create our own mental model of a reality that really isn't containing all of the truth, doesn't contain the actual clarity of, this, of the situation itself. So I thought by taking a systems lens and applying that to the feedback that we get, we can actually start to understand that things aren't so linear, that things don't really operate in a domino type of world. There's a lot of components, there's a lot of contributing factors that happen both in our systems, the complex systems, but also in the interactions that we have with each other. So in this talk, I've got five key benefits. A lot of them are going to be pretty obvious. A lot of them are things that we've heard about before. Um, and then I'll follow that up with some suggestions on how you can start thinking about uh, your feedback that you're giving and taking uh, with systems thinking. So accuracy, that's probably the most obvious one. As you start to collect a lot more information, as you start to look at your world and look at feedback in this more holistic approach, obviously things become a lot more accurate. You start to remove cognitive bias, you start to remove just a lot of different things that don't need to be a part of that feedback. We talk a lot about blameless, especially in the post-incident analysis. Blameless post-mortems are a lot of big thing. And so we can start to re remove this needless judgment from the feedback that we're given and, and receiving as well. Accountability and responsibility. You know, we hear a lot of times uh, we want to hold someone accountable for something or somebody needs to be accountable for something. That's actually used incorrectly a lot of times. Accountable simply means being able to give an accurate, an accurate account of something. Responsibility has some sort of ownership to it. So keep in mind those are two different things. And then blame is sort of, you know, tied to judgment a little bit, but we're really bad about blame. We're sort of wired to give blame. We're sort of wired to even accept blame and say, hey, you know, that was my bad. I'm sorry about that. And we can actually start to remove those types of things that just really aren't helpful when we're trying to give and receive feedback. And then, of course, last, um, the, the, you know, fixes that fail, sort of temporary fixes, that's also part of conversations. We tend to just say something just to sort of move on, uh, and that's not, you know, necessarily good for uh, good giving and receiving of feedback. All right, so hopefully you're, you're drinking this Kool-Aid, you're like, yeah, I get it, I understand systems thinking, awesome, we've heard a lot about it today. How do we do this? So there's three questions, I think, if you just sort of try to keep this in mind, and I'm not going to lie, it's really hard to think about this in terms of feedback, but the first one is, what are the differences between you and I? Or what are the differences between you and your coworker? Or whatever the case is. And those could be simple things just like age, gender, um, are you left-handed or right-handed? All those kinds of things are actually something important you have to think about. The second question is, what about the roles? You know, we talk a lot about developers and operations and all the different IT units, but what are those different roles doing to our own perspectives as we start to go back and forth with, with the feedback? And then the last one, what about the different responsibilities? What about the different policies? How about distributed teams? All that kind of stuff actually does affect and impact our, our feedback that we're giving and receiving. So think about how that's going to start playing a role in your communication and your, and your feedback as well. And a lot of this, I don't know, I think it's super interesting. Systems thinking is something, you know, I tried to squeeze five, uh, um, basically an hour talk into five minutes. Um, but the thing about it that I really like, it starts to uncover patterns. And I think a lot, a lot of us here are really into patterns. I mean, that's just a, a thing that we deal with day in and day out. And so if you start thinking about feedback in that way, it actually kind of gets a little bit interesting, gets a little bit fun. So real quick, I'm not going to read these off, but these are the five benefits if you missed them. I'll share the slides online. I'll put them on Twitter. Um, thank you so much for talking or for uh, listening to this. A lot of my ideas came from this book called Thanks for, Fe Thanks, Thanks for the Feedback. So uh, check that out. 
Uh, I just put out a chat, chat ops book, so shameless plug on that. Download it for free, or there's some free copies out there with VictorOps. And uh, that's all I got. Thank you.